What's up, Brian Tong here, and if you have been waiting for Apple to finally come out with a quality webcam, you don't have to wait anymore because I just got the Opal C1 camera and they sent it to me for the purpose of this review to try it out and give my honest review. Now, even if Apple lets you use your iPhone as your web camera, you know, it takes time to set it up and fiddle with it and then make sure it's really using your iPhone as the source. You know, you've been there. So the Opal C1 is not only here to solve all those problems, but really do everything that Apple's webcam does and do it better. Now, I wanna let you know that this webcam is financially backed by some of your tech content creators, you know, like MKBHD and Casey Neistat, but that's not gonna change how I evaluate it. And that's why I'm telling you so you know everything because not everyone does. So let's start off with the packaging here and just unbox this thing. So we got the Opal One, it's in this plastic wrap. So I'm just gonna, woo. And it's got this nice matte black surface and you see the kind of shiny icon that represents the camera. Okay, I'm gonna do the honors. Oh, and whoo, this is a classy packaging here. Uh, look how it's divided. We have the camera up here and it's it's wrapped in this nice film. So I'm just gonna tear it off. And this is cool, it's it's this black surface. You've got kind of that, that wet texture on it, but it's not wet. Okay, very matte-like. Um, also, we have this separation down here. This is the USB-C cable and it's got that, that springy wrap. It's just not to give it some um, give when you connect it or when you're mounting it anywhere. So here's the cable in all its glory, okay? Now, if we look at this, this is one of the most unique and really modern designed webcams that I've ever seen. I mean, it was designed by Kenny Sweet and he's the designer behind the first Beats by Dre headphones and also the Pixel Watch. And I like this, these stylish perforations here. It's not trying to be Apple, but I think you look at this and instantly think like it could be maybe design adjacent to Apple and it does fit with its modern look. And then it's got a nice weight and feel to it. It's not too light where it feels cheap. Uh, but it's not too heavy either. And this is a high-end camera, right? Look, I didn't even realize like this here, this is slick. I didn't even realize this has a magnetic cover over the lens, which is already cool, so that protects it. Also, it's for privacy. You just, it just make, you know, instead of fiddling with the switch on top, you just pop this off. This is nice. And again, this is a 4K Sony IMX582 sensor, so it's half an inch sensor. It's the largest ever on a webcam, and this is also an F1.8 lens with six elements inside. And you'll have what they call a mic mesh, which is an array of noise canceling mics that are here in the front through these perforations and then also in the back of the C1. And you also have the camera mount here. I'm gonna take it out and let me unwrap it for a moment, just real quick. And it looks like, I'm gonna open it from the side. And it looks like there's a screw part here. So I'm probably gonna have to actually screw it in together and they include this little tool here. So let's, you know, if we can, if I can do this the right way, make sure, all right, there we go. Nice tight fit. Even where, where the final screw point is, it aligns, it aligns perfectly. You can see that. So this is the mount that will rest on top of your laptop or your monitor or your Mac. You'll see this spacer. So that is gonna allow for whether it's a uh, thicker display or as you move this diagonally, you can see this, this kind of then hinges on your uh, laptop. And I'm unboxing this black one here. Um, there's also a white one. So it just depends on what you think works best with your setup. I've got this secure and then also there is this tight hinge here. And if you can see me where I, I'm just gonna try and hold it up and bend it here. This allows you to adjust the angle as well. And it's a really, it's a really solid connection here. Now this has an Intel Myriad X chip inside it. This is really the brain power of the camera. And then also, if you look back here, there's a USB-C 3.1 connector on the back. That's what connects here into this cable. So I just pop it here and boom, it's like that. And I told you about this spiffy magnetic lens cap. I was like, look, it just, it goes right here, right? So let's actually put this on my computer and set it up. So right now I'm in my kitchen area and this is just as easy to plug it in. And then you rest the mount on the top of this uh, display here. And I adjust the angle just to the way that I want it so that I'm framed properly. Then in an app like FaceTime or others, I can actually easily select the C1 as my camera of choice, but I can also select it as my microphone of choice as well. So I'm gonna do that. 
The Opal C1 also has a software companion, and this is a free download called Opal Composer. You can just get it from their website, and this app lets you tweak everything that you can think of uh, to your liking on this C1 camera. This is the first machine learning software for webcams, and this really just elevates what the C1 is capable of compared to your built-in cameras. Um, it can give you a more photorealistic bokeh effect compared to others that is, it, I would describe it as more subtle with less of that you know, really strong halo effect around the head and you can drag and select how much of that effect you have. I think the biggest improvement here though is playing with the focus distance so the camera can just really find that exact distance that you are away from the camera and then bring it, bring out a lot more of sharpness and details in your face. And it has what they call face lock. So this is to keep your face centered automatically so when you move around, it tracks your face similar to Apple center stage feature. You can also do graphical overlays and backgrounds of your own if you want. There's filters you can put over your video feed like touch up that kind of subtly brightens your face and even smooths it out if uh, you like that on your face a little bit. You can really just drill down here and edit everything from the color to the exposure. You can play with contrast, uh, the color of the video feed through the Opal Composer app. It's all done there. And all this software is powered by the Intel Myriad X chip that is inside this webcam. So as far as I know, uh, this is the first webcam that ships with onboard computing power to handle all the machine learning. You got its computer vision and then more to just give you the best image it can. So let's test this out to just see how it compares to the Apple webcam that's on my MacBook Pro and also on my studio display. So here's a screen test and a sample with the natural light coming through here where I'm sitting at my island in the kitchen and I'll just put a side-by-side -side comparison of the built-in webcam from my MacBook Pro versus the Opal C1. Now, can you see the difference for yourself when looking at it? Uh, for me, making the tweaks with the Composer app just makes all the difference and you can see it's a cleaner image. I can even play with, like I said, the shadows and bokeh effect to get it just right, but it's pretty clear that you can see a difference. It's a higher quality. And in another room, this is a mini office at home. When I just compare the built-in webcam on my uh, studio display, the Composer app is how you really elevate this. I mean, you might even prefer, honestly, the Apple webcam as well for its color balance, but you're always gonna get a cleaner and sharper image from the C1. Now, I don't use a DSLR camera for any of my web conferences. I know some of you do, so I'm not gonna compare it and act like I use it that way. That's just not my real use case. And the C1 definitely brings a higher level of image quality that gets closer to that type of level. Uh, now, the Opal C1 is, again, this is a 4K camera with machine learning capabilities, and it's important to know that Although the Composer app is only compatible with Mac computers, this Opal C1 on its own works as a plug and play camera on Windows machines. And then the Opal team told me that they have plans to make their devices Windows compatible later next year. So this is really a product for Apple users in the Apple ecosystem. And it comes in two colors. I brought them right here. Um, you got black obviously and white. And this is kind of more like an off-white and the stand is a little gray. So um, these are both, very stylish. I mean, if you even look at them compared to each other, you have kind of that that the little wet water texture that that adds that grip. You kind of find those on actual DSLR cameras. So I think that's what they're trying to lean into. But you have the perforations on the front with the mic mesh. You have the same camera sensors, and then the back, of the design has those kind of lines and slots, and it just it just looks really classy. Now, both colors, the black edition or the white edition, they cost two hundred and fifty dollars. So when you look at all this. Who is this for, honestly, right? I think every person that is fed up with one of the weakest spots for Apple, right? Their subpar quality, just very average for everything else they do on webcams, on their computers, and they still haven't addressed the issue for all these years. Now, I did a recent web conference and someone asked what I was actually using for my camera. So not only can I tell, but people on the other side of the call, they could tell the difference too. I mean, I'm not asking them to see, but if you take a lot of Zoom meetings, you take a lot of WebEx calls or Google Meets and you're on a Mac, I think this is gonna be a nice upgrade for you. Now, if you're fine with what Apple provides, then hey, that's fine, like keep what you have, but the Opal C1 really enhances your Mac experience. It might actually enhance it more for other people watching than for yourself. I mean, you'll just know that your camera looks better, but do I wish that Apple did it themselves? Of course, but there's also a lot of well thought out, you know, you got a lot of clever features here. You know, it does make your Mac better and brings things like this one half inch camera sensor. You got the onboard processing for machine learning that makes it 
really a little more than a web camera. Now you'll have to decide if it's worth a $250 upgrade for you, but there's a lot of things that this checks off for me. The design is killer. It makes your MacBook Pro, iMac, or Studio Display perform better. And if you care about those two things, and if you're over the webcam that Apple's been giving us all these years, then the Opal C1 camera, this is gonna be a good fit for you. So if you wanna find out more, check out the Opal C1 on the link in the description of this video. And hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.